And tomorrow, veterans will be honored with a parade through the streets of Phoenix. But today, Team 12's Rachel Cole got to chat with Celebrity Grand Marshal Loretta Swit ahead of Monday's big parade. The actress and advocate shares how near and dear this event is to her and the Valley. Hey guys, this is such a special event. The 23rd annual Phoenix Veterans Day Parade, a way for us to show our respect and gratitude to our military members. We're doing our best to, to show our love and our appreciation. There's no way we can ever thank the troops for what they do. There's no way. MASH's own Loretta Switz setting the stage for Veterans Day. There's no way we can thank them for the suffering that they endured. The survivors uh, give me such courage. I reckon if a human being could withstand and triumph over what they endured, I can do anything. She, along with veterans like Master Sergeant Norbert Dave Yanez and Staff Sergeant Bill Tafoya, will be the Grand Marshals for the event. To me, it's to represent all my brothers and sisters in the military and mostly the Vietnam brothers and sisters. Yes. The parade is hosted by Honoring America's Veterans, just one of many organizations helping vets go from soldiers to civilians and helping their four-legged companions transition as well. So all of these groups of caring people have uh, set up organizations to, to care for these people, match them together, send them off together to train together and be together. She says it's important to have programs like Paws for Purple Hearts so canines and their crews can work to live in peace. Those dogs, as well as the boys, the boys who come back with PTSD, the dogs, the, their, their battle buddies come back with the same issues. Switz says a group is headed to Kuwait this week to bring back nine dogs to begin healing and helping vets in need. Rachel Cole, 12 News. Hi, I'm Bruce Hafner flying the Lions Roofing News Chopper. And in this awesome country of ours, it's great to see veterans giving back to veterans. Check out a couple of buddies of ours. It, it, it really makes me feel good to be able to still be flying these that bring so many good feelings to so many guys, probably alive because of Huey's and what Huey's did to Vietnam. Uh, resupplying, extracting the wounded, inserting troops into combat, extracting them, taking them home. So just being able to fly the aircraft around, throw it off, and uh, bring back mostly positive memories to a whole lot of guys is, uh, is a wonderful thing. We call our buddy Slick, who 50 years ago was flying Hueys in Vietnam. And today, he's still flying Hueys with a bunch of Dillon Aero employees on board who also happen to be veterans. And they're over a good old USA Veterans Day parade. Uh, it is a working helicopter. We use it to train gunners and armors uh, from both the United States government, the United States forces, and allied forces. And Vietnam veteran Joe Sotilli is leading this group of veterans flying World War II Stearmans, and they are given back to. We have here, we kind of use this to honor our veterans, not just on Veterans Day, but throughout the year. We try to give them rides in our aircraft. Uh, some of them are World War II veterans still that are coming out and they learned to fly in these airplanes 70 years ago. I flew helicopters in Vietnam and uh, every year on Veterans Day I take another veteran with me. Uh, the guy I've got today, his name is Dan Jones. Dan and I flew in the Army together. And he did a couple tours in uh, Vietnam as a Cobra pilot. So as we honor our servicemen and women throughout the world, by flying over Arizona, we just want to say what an honor it is to share the sky with these guys. I'm Bruce Hafner, flying the Lions Roofing News Chopper.